afternoon, the House Committee on Assassinations will restage the 1963 killing of President John Kennedy on Dee Plaza in Dallas Sunday morning. But the public is not likely to see much. A report from Doug Atkins. From the moment the presidential motorcade began its winding journey through downtown Dallas in 1963, and shots rang out just before President Kennedy's car reached the triple overpass, Dealey Plaza has been the object of repeated scrutiny. The reenactment of part of the assassination scene planned for this weekend is not the first time such a recreation has been made. Last year, the motorcade was recreated for a made-for-television motion picture, and observers who had been here in 1963 said the make-believe was frighteningly convincing. This Sunday, when investigators from the House Assassination Subcommittee restaged the gunfire of November 22, 1963, the scene in Dealey Plaza will be noticeably different. The public will be banned from the area. News cameras restricted to certain areas. Every effort will be made to keep extraneous noise to a minimum so the investigators can clearly record the sounds of the gunfire. The sharpshooters fire from the same sixth floor window where the Warren Commission said Lee Harvey Oswald took aim and fired. The sounds recorded Sunday will be compared with the police tape recording made on the day of the assassination, which some people say indicates four shots instead of three were fired. In the midst of all the highly publicized preparations for this event, an important question has almost been overlooked. Will these tests reveal anything conclusive or even significant? Investigators and members of the committee admit the chances are remote. Doug Adams, The Texas News.